so as you can see, this officer is scanning over this whole guy's rig. I think he has some special training. In big rigs. Safety and ISO, whatever we're at now. I think that trucker feels safe with APD crawling all over his rig with the armed and dangerous with the reputation of killing people that they have. I wouldn't feel safe. him to open his rig up for him. What are we dealing with? The other officer's still standing by in uh, 2940, still watching, just in case this truck gets dangerous and aggressive or charges. Maybe the, the truck will charge him. in there? No. Yes. I see a fan. This is way more dangerous than they need to be doing. What's he looking up in this damn truck for again? Mechanical work? Ridiculous. Totally ridiculous. DNC trucking ship. Do something about these guys. Let's see who this is. That's not really a phone number. What unit number is this? These big SUVs are 29s. The little cars are uh, like 1.8 usually, or they start within the 1,000s. And then the mini SUVs are um, twos also. They're in the 2,000s. So this is the number one uh, way that police get killed. By the way, this is the most dangerous thing they do: is pulling over people on a busy highway, um, checking them uh, and investigating them for civil issues uh, related to transportation code, usually. Um, transportation code, while it does apply to commercial vehicles like this, doesn't necessarily apply to you and I. And uh, that's kind of one of the dirty little secrets of government and, and the insurance companies, is you and I aren't really supposed to, we're supposed to be able to freely travel. Uh, this guy, he's signed on, he has a commercial driver's license, he's signed on to uh, do, to follow all the transportation safety laws. So they're looking at his uh, hookup rig or his brake lines or something over here. There's a bunch of lines that run back to the trailer from the cab. And they're checking something. This officer, if I could just get him, uh, could have had that ID on him. So he's going to the back now because he knows shit, right? important shit going on that the system wouldn't work right if they couldn't ticket people basically. What's he gonna do now? Is he gonna get the canine unit? Oh, the other officer 29 whatever 40 is left. And this cop's about to leave I guess or not. This rig's still open, wide open. Truckers hate going through this town. They just fucking hate it. They tell me it. Let's see if he looks at me. Do 
wash his little hands up. He had gloves on, but apparently he got his little hands dirty. He needs some wet wipes. Wipe his milk mustache off. Tractor's gonna close the rig up. Or look at something. Guy's trying to go to work. He needs to call him to work, say he's been delayed, detained in Austin. Looks like he's got some kind of building supplies on the back here. It's a big hood. Got better things to do. He's gonna delay his work day. It's almost Friday, it's in the week. He's just trying to get paid, trying to feed his family, trying to uh, live prosperously in our communities. Yet, this guy thinks it's his duty to detain him and bother him all the time. This guy's writing up something important, maybe a love letter. I love pulling over truckers. It's my bread and butter. They're just driving through town. They don't expect me. And boom, I got them. I got them. I feel good about it. The adrenaline, man. The adrenaline. This guy could be transporting gerbils. Guinea pigs. Chilean refugees. I got them, man. I got them. More tickets, man. Yes, I got two laptops going. What a tool. Why do you need two laptops? I mean, to do this job. I can use two laptops, but I'm an IT freaking genius. This guy, I don't know what he needs two laptops for, but he's got this guy detained now. Hanging out on my rig, on my truck. I'm sure the guy's not going to get beaten up at this point. Um, I mean, I'm not totally sure, but I have that feeling. But basically, uh, I want to make sure he's okay. Uh, I want to complete the video. And I want to see the incident. That sound. I need to like find a better spot for this. Oh well. What's he doing? Still transferring data from the cloud, man? What you doing? You checking your Facebook? I'm gonna get this guy back to work. If you don't know the law, you shouldn't be pulling people over. Period. There's his unit number on top there, 2938. His name, his face is there. If he should kill somebody today, his face is there. His ID, I couldn't really get. I'm not sure why we get the vehicle units. I, that's just what I've always done and was told to do uh, since the beginning. There goes unit number 2940. Um, Turning right. He's interested in me. Possibly. I was trying to be covert, but my camera kind of gives me away. It's not that big, but these guys are probably a little hyper vigilant, knowing that they're not loved in the community. You know, they a lot of them don't live here. They just come here to where their enemy is, the Austinites, citizens of this town. They go live in another town like Pflugerville or out in the lake somewhere. And they come into town and, and detain and harass citizens. And they know they're not wanted here and welcome. And they don't, they don't, they're not part of our community. They're hired thugs by the chief and the, the city manager. They hire these thugs. So that's kind of not America.
That kind of doesn't feel like free and open often. You can do this thing, or are you just gonna check Facebook? Looks like he's reaching for the handle. No, he's still typing. He's gotta put that laptop up before he can get stand up, because it's on his lap. This guy wishes he could go to work. Wishes he wouldn't stand in there on the perp stand on the side of the highway where it's dangerous as fuck. If a big truck or somebody hits is going 70 miles an hour and hits the back of this SUV, guess who dies? That guy right in the middle. The cop will live. This, this guy in the middle will be crushed between his rig and that car. So this is the most dangerous maneuver the police ever do. More police die in roadside pullovers from traffic that's distracted um, or driving erratically. Just police make people drive nervous and then the other person's watching the other nervous driver like, what's that guy doing? Doesn't see the cop and then boom. Sometimes things just happen. Accidents happen and that is not the place you want to pull someone over. There's actually a truck stop uh, on the side of McDonald's on the next exit that they could have gone to on Burleson Road and there's there's room for trucks to pull over there. Uh, it's a commercial area. Uh, they would have been safer. The cars, inertia, the speed of the vehicle determines the uh, force of the impact. So if you've got a car that's going two miles an hour and it hits a brick wall, its little bumper can handle it and it'll be just fine. It probably won't even have barely a scratch. If you have a vehicle that's going 50 and another vehicle that's going 50 and they hit in the middle, you've got a lot of force and someone's gonna die if they hit direct. Um, there's a lot of vector forces and, and um, other forces that go into effect there, uh, but for the most part, speed equals pain. Speed equals, you know, the severity of the accident. I don't think this guy's noticing me. And I don't know where Unit 2940 went. I can only imagine where he went. Because he went off into the commercial area. This guy is not happy. I don't know why he's not happy. He's having a great day. Getting tickets, standing on the side of the road, not doing his job being detained by an armed thug from a known criminal organization. You know, why is he not happy? Oh, because this is what the government promised him was life, liberty, the pursuit of happiness and justice for all, and this is happening. And none of those are happening right now. He's not getting justice, he's not getting life, he's not getting liberty, he's not getting pursuit of happiness. What he's got is oppression. The police, Austin police state oppression that's all over, and he is not happy. Let's see if we can catch him smiling. I love this zoom lens on this new camera. Thank you, um, Peaceful Streets and their benefactors for uh, making it possible for me to be this far away and see this gentleman. My little cameras, not so much. My best camera is basically my cell phone. And, uh, not always the best camera. Point. If you have a cell phone and another camera, you're better off using the other camera to film the police so that you can make a 911 call in Texas. Uh, as I understand, you're protected from being uh, arrested or harmed while you're on an emergency 911 call. Happy guy. Don't look too unhappy, they can kill you. I don't want to look too unhappy, they'll kill you. Make sure he's not too unhappy. Yeah, don't look like you're challenging your happiness. That you're upset that you might be pulled over. Don't do that, gentlemen, sir. Middle-aged gentleman with uh, receding hairline. Still has some hair. You still got some hair, buddy. You're doing good. Chew your nails. I know you're nervous and scared. Hang out on your truck and look like a trucker, like a like a businessman, like someone that works for a living. It doesn't deserve to be treated like this. 
doing what you're supposed to be doing. But here you go. Welcome to the man's plan. You ain't skirting through your Austin that easy, son. We're looking for trouble. What's this guy doing? Let's try and talk to him. Yeah, get on that side, it's safer. Blah, 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 blah. Don't tell me I'll shoot you. Uh -uh. What's going on there, son? Paperwork? You got a lot of paperwork. Good for you. Nobody gives a fuck about your paperwork. Get on with it so this gentleman can go to work. There's there's a job site somewhere that's missing their materials. Who knows what this stuff is on the back of this truck? I'll strap down some big flat items. This guy's trying to get to work. And if you don't know how to fill it out, you don't really need support. Uh, you need to re retrain. You might need to get back to the desk for a while. See the result of some of these crappy reports and, and look at the numbers of people pulled over and for the reasons. Do a cost benefit analysis. Find out if it's worth this much um, loss in um, productivity for the city, for these businesses, and how much it costs to enforce your silly laws. And then look at what benefits you get from it. Yeah, it reallocates wealth to the city, but that's not the job of the city. The city's supposed to reallocate wealth back to the people, not the other way around. I was pulling somebody else over somewhere. So, yeah, I just... Um, left my spot and there was uh you know it's early in the morning for me still and there was a, a cop i heard cops pulling people over and i went this direction for just a second and as soon as i got to the next major exit there was this uh there was two trucks pulled over and i didn't actually catch the first one there's a third one somewhere so um they're just hanging out here on uh, the Ben White Highway that goes out to the airport. And they're just hanging out here. Um, this is the east-west um, highway on the South Austin. And they're just hanging out here, pulling people over left and right. And detaining them for long periods of time while they figure out what they're supposed to be doing. Blah. Blah, blah, blah. No one really wants to hear me speak. I certainly don't. But I don't have a dog. All I have is this camera to talk to. So, oh my lizard, Lizzie. Let's take a picture of Lizzie. Lizzie, activist lizard. Where you at? There you are. Yes. Are you watching the police? Yes. Are they behaving themselves? Yeah. You'd rather not see them at all. Yeah. I know. That's Lizzie. She's my dog replacement after APD killed my dog. Oh, he's going to sign his paperwork. 
Watch his hands. Don't let him fucking cuff you and grab you. Just sworn I saw another laptop in there. I guess it was just paperwork. Everything's super great. Tickets are wonderful. Do you get a smiley face and a little star on top? For being cooperative? With corporate raiders and pirates? Highway pirates? Thieves? Why do you keep opening and closing your laptop? Piece of shit Panasonic Tough Book. They're not worth the shit. They're tough, but they're slow. Have a nice day. What's he gonna do? The trucker's leaving. I don't see if this officer recognizes me or not. So far, he's just reading off on his report, looking for his next victim. Possibly. I don't know if he has the automatic license reader. He's got that camera right there. Sometimes the automatic license readers are on top. Sometimes they're on the dash. Uh, I have not seen the, the pictures of the ones on the top, but I was told it looks like an extra light bar kind of thing. Maybe even a dark light bar. Gotta go do some things. Gotta go find this um, stuffy toy. He's a pacifier. He hasn't had enough adrenaline. He's all, all upset. He needs a pacifier. Got a whole box of shit. What you got in the box, son? Confiscate that from one of the other truckers. That part of your pirate's booty. What the fuck is in there? Now you got me curious. That's a pretty green box. Steroid collection with rigs. Got some fancy equipment in there. An explosive meter. That would be useful. Books on placarding and hazardous hazardous placarding. coming. Pull over anybody you want. You feel the power yet, guys? You feel the AC? How cold it is? You feel the check? Man's making 75 grand. Easy. So we've got state troopers and DPS that do highway enforcement. APD is not even necessary. If there's a problem where we've got too many truckers on the road that are illegal or, or that are dangerous or whatever it is, then we need to use the DPS, the state's resources. It's a state highway. 
It's not a public road. It's a state. It's a public road, but it's not run by the municipality. It's run by the state. The state maintains it. It's state state property. I don't even think. I mean, I know that they have ETJ and jurisdiction issues, but they really shouldn't be trying to take the state's jurisdiction. They should allow the state to handle its own, and then they can um, wait for people to call them. I like. I like it for them to wait for people to call them rather than stalk the people. He's looking at more stuff again. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Officer number whatever. Can I have your name and badge number, sir? Oh. Are you failing to, to ID? Cat got your tongue. It's a good time to read some law on the side of the road. You know, read your favorite book. Check your Twitter. Is that what it is? Cause I'm like getting bored of shit watching him read. I'm not even doing policing anymore. It's just reading. Keep it up. Keep pirating. 